Developments involving a Houston auction house that sold hundreds of thousands of masks and other medical equipment to the highest bidder. Surveillance cameras capture the moment that the items were seized and then packed into a semi truck. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone live near Hobby Airport tonight with a fight between local, state, and federal officials over who gets to keep these supplies. Jacob? Yeah, Dominique, the night before the Texas Attorney General accused this auction house of price gouging, the auctioneer tells me he got a call from Harris County officials saying that they wanted to buy these masks at the so-called hammer price, which they called a fair price. Now, his attorney tells me he's got access to millions more masks and truckloads of sanitizer, but now he's stuck in the middle of what appears to be a political fight. Harris County and FEMA arrived at the same time. The feds in black SUVs wanted to buy the masks. County officials in white trucks had an order to take them. And so they did. Hundreds of N95 masks and 200,000 other types loaded into a moving truck. That surprised me because I was like, aren't we all on the same team? Tim Worstel is a fourth generation auctioneer caught in the middle of a fight, his attorney says, between FEMA, the Texas Attorney General and Harris County. The portrait being painted by the Attorney General's office of my client as some evil human being that was gouging during this time of disaster is completely false. Text messages, call logs, and emails to Tim from Harris County officials show Harris County and the state were talking about Harris County buying the masks before the state filed a lawsuit. The AG was on calls with the county this morning and agreed to let us pay fair price, the county purchaser texted Tim. Here is what the county would like to purchase, the purchaser followed up in an email. Only hours later, the state filed a lawsuit stopping the auction and accusing Tim of price gouging. I'm not mad at anybody. Everybody's just doing their job, you know. Uh, I'm mad at the system. FEMA then called and emailed Tim today wanting to buy the masks. Tim told the county about this, and minutes later, Judge Lena Hidalgo signed this order to commandeer the equipment. And they did. I'm just a small fish in a big pond. This has definitely been an education. He has the opportunity to secure millions more that he can sell to the government, any level, federal, state, county, for far less than they're paying now. But he's afraid to do it because he doesn't want to get in more trouble for doing nothing wrong. It's absolutely disgusting. So again, Tim's attorney says that companies that have worked with this auction house in the past and that trust him have access to millions more N95 masks, millions and truckloads of hand sanitizer that could go to Houston area first responders. But he's stuck in the middle of, again, what appears to be a political fight. Live in Houston, Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News. Complicated place to be in, for sure, Jacob. Thank you.